Yo, this is Cash Cobain, and this is not an interview, <laughs> but I'm with Manny Supreme. <laughs> we in the building, man, for sure. And I'm only asking him nine questions. So, Cash, how you feeling today, man? You good? Great. My dog in the city, in the A. I just actually learned what A gal means. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, boom. Hey, man, Gabe put me down. Shout out to my dog, Gabe. All right, boom, we running it down. Question number one, what's your favorite script? What is your favorite strip club that you've been to? Uh, out, of, out of Booby Trap or Magic? You just went to Magic recently that day, Monday. Movie? Oh, yeah, I'm going to say Magic for now because I, I really did it. Yeah, yeah it was just supposed to do for sure. All right, question number two. How long did it take you to write your verse for For Sure? And how long did it take you to make the beat? I ain't write this. We were just in the studio just... Got an attitude, got an attitude. So it wasn't that long. Uh, and the beat, my other uh boys, Jiggy and Fuckboy, they was making the beat. I just came to add a little pussy ass, you know, that shit. So I don't know, I don't know how long that shit took. <laughs> all right, all right, now. Now, for the people that don't know, right, what does a gal mean, and what's the proper way to use it in a sentence? Yeah, it's a gal, like. Uh, show on the tag too. Show on the tag. Make sure I get the tag. You see it? Yeah, so it's like, uh, it's like a man, but it's a gal. You know, I don't like men. I hate men for real, so it's a gal. You know, it's praise the woman. Uh, I'm trying to use it in a sentence. Just, I don't know, man, a man, that's close to my young. Uh, shout out to Slim. More Slim, more life, a gal. <laughs> and it's like everybody say it together. Okay, hard. That's hard. Now, I'm about to pull up a video real quick because one thing that we do do in our series is, you know, like to make sure we we dig deep. So shout out to my girl, Annabelle, with the Good Shit Podcast. I saw this, you know, that Don Tolliver lead. We're going to play the video. James, is you ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh, I'll fuck you. Oh, 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 oh. Now you gotta take us back, right? First and foremost, could your fans be expecting new music or possibly a collab album with Don Tolliver in the future? Well, I never thought about a uh, collab album with Don Tolliver, but shit, that might have to work. That's crazy. <laughs> that might have to work, but definitely new music with Don Tolliver coming soon. That song right there, that shit is hard. It's me. I'm on it. You got Charlie Wilson on it. Yeah. You know, it's Don. I made the beat. That shit hard. Take us back to that studio session. Where did you like first start working on the beat? Um, so I made the beat. Like we didn't do that shit in the studio together. But I made the beat in the crib. Man, like I don't know, like last year. But I'm like, this shit's so crazy. I'm not about to say this shit nobody. I gotta use it. This shit's so crazy. Like I gotta use it. I recorded some shit to it. I'm like, shit ain't lit for real. Like I'm saying, but uh. I'm like, still, nobody had a beat. But I'm like, nobody fuck with me for real. Like, <laughs> so I posted, I posted a beat on Instagram type shit. They was like, they was fucking with it type shit. But um, I know Sycamore and all that. Sycamore and old dog. So we were like, send that beat. Dawn was the beat. So I sent it to Dawn and shit. Came back with some fire. And then, yo, we had verse that. Put your shit on that shit. That shit. So I sent it in. Then I got a video for them, like, and like, yeah, we got Charlie Wilson on this shit now. I'm like, damn, boy, that's old. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one right there. Now, were you going back and forth between different Pharrell songs to sample, or you knew Beautiful was the one? Huh? Like, were you going back and forth? Did you know you wanted to use Beautiful to sample, or were there other Pharrell songs that kind of stuck out to you that you was, like, going back and forth on? Um... Oh, 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 oh. I listen to that shit. Well, I'm like, I be trying to figure out how to be different, you know? Yeah. I had to be my. Oh, 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 oh. You had that loop. I had that, you know what I'm saying? It's a tempo. <laughs> yeah. But I, I like to be different, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to sample the song type shit. I'm like, I'm about to sample people. Oh, oh, oh. I'm about to sample that shit. But I'm about to add my swag to it. So, you know. That with the old swag. That's why we gotta tap in. I wanna tap it with Pharrell type shit. So you can see how I shit with him. Like, I right, bet, bro. You 
Different. <laughs> That's hard. Shout out for real. Now, what part of NYC are you from? I'm from the Bronx. Which software did you first start making beats on? FL Studio. I'm still on that. Fruity Loops. Fire, fire, fire. Now, shout out to my big sister, Nene. We was just over there chopping it up with her. Now, you were featured on her recent project, PPT, but well, that's hard. Now, shout out my brother, Jetson May. People saying that, you know, it could be a new genre of South Sexy Drill. Yeah. So, talk about that. What was the process of, you know, collabing on that beat with Jetson? Uh, well, that's my boy. Like, Jetson, like, one of the first people to embrace me type shit. Uh, well, that's my boy. So, it's like, it's regular now, you know what I'm saying? We just cooking up. Cooking up, came up with that beat, and then that shit was hard. Like, like that's hard. Yeah, literally had to call it that. That's fire. Now, look, could we be expecting more Cash Go Bank collabs with artists in like Atlanta and Florida and like in the South in general? Hell yeah, I love Atlanta. I love Atlanta. Uh... <laughs> now, look, we got this picture right here. Can you take us back to this night? Can you explain, like, as they said, hey, Cash, look over here, take this? What happened, like, immediately after this? Uh... What you mean? Like, where was y'all at? Like, how did that whole, like, situation happen? Because I just remember seeing everybody on TikTok, like, yo, Drake and Cash Go Band collab. And I remember him just, you know, actually just picture him holding the Slizzy chain. So, like, what was that moment like? Oh, uh, shit. We was at an OVO Slizzy party. Bro, he threw a party with me. Private party. That shit was lit. I ain't gonna lie. I had some tings in the air. Who was smoking, liquor, liquoring. And, yeah, bro, I was just... Actually, on the, I was on the other side of the uh, the party, so now you know I just lights flickering and shit. I see the boy over there, like, nah, I gotta get, I'm not about to not get a picture with the yeah. boy. Like, this my boy, this, he threw this party for me. Ain't no way in hell I'm not in this picture. So, boom, I go over there, and then we just start taking pictures and shit, videos and shit. And, yeah, bro. <laughs> that's alright Was that y'all first time Like meeting the person Yeah That's my first time Meeting the person Now for our last question Now what part of your career Do you like more Being an artist Or a producer it's not, it's, not, it's not separated It's the same It's the same thing Now what can your fans What can your fans Expect for you more In the future Both Yeah both But I like You know I'm a producer first But both definitely You know These artists like Hear me rap down Or some shit I remember when they just wanted me to make the beat, and you fuck with the rap, but now you want me to rap and shit. But I'm like, I'm a beat maker, you know what I'm saying? So I'm here, man. I'm here to stay too. No cap. And he said he moving out to Atlanta, or is that cap? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming to Atlanta. <laughs> man, another interview with my dog Cash Cobain. Make sure you guys go check out the new remix of For Sure featuring Ice Spice and Bass Sweat.